Okay. <laughs> I was wondering which one actually put me to coffee and was like, yeah, no. Okay. Good morning, St. Francis. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Truby TV Live. Wait, why do we have homeroom today? It's literally a Tuesday. Well, we have to make space in the week for career day this Friday. Trubies, you'll all be getting an email this Thursday with your room assignments for career day based on what professions you chose to learn from about our fabulous alums. Oh, I get it now. Sadly, everyone's favorite weather person, Evelyn, is sick, so no weather report today. But let's get straight into announcements. Trubies, Dean Koss needs volunteers for the Sac State Active Shooter Training. It's next Monday, March 18th, during your A and B blocks. If you're interested, please email Dean Koss for more information ASAP, because signups are due this Thursday. Not only will you learn how to protect yourself and others, but you get a free lunch. SP elections are all wrapped up, and tomorrow are count class council speeches. Give the candidates your full attention during class meetings. Fill out the voting form Mrs. McGreevy will send out after. And remember, your vote counts. Mother-daughter ball tickets are still on sale, Troopies. This Saturday, March 16th from 7.30 to 9.30, spend a memorable night with your mom or loved one at SF's own Garden Gala. You know what else is going on this weekend? Little Women Opening Night! Tickets are on sale now for this Friday, Saturday, and several showings next week. Here to tell us more about the show, Truby TV reporter Faith Oliver with special guest and member of Little Women's cast, Chloe Laird. Hey Trubies, I'm here interviewing one of our extremely talented actors in SF's upcoming show, Little Women, senior Chloe Laird. So Chloe, tell me who you play in Little Women. I play Meg March, who is the eldest sister. Okay, so I have a few questions regarding the show. What has been your favorite part in working on Little Women so far? My favorite part of working on Little Women has definitely been the character development between all four of the sisters. There is Amaya Pangelinan who plays Joe, Olivia King who plays Amy, and Kate Huang who plays Beth. And Miss Millar has done a really great job of making sure that each girl stays true to their character, but um, we all harmonize with one another. That is so awesome. Yeah. Which one of the sisters do you relate to the most? Um, I'm not just saying this because I play Meg, but I, I really mean this. Meg ultimately follows her heart and abandons a lot of logic, and I find that I do that as well in my day-to-day -day life. What would you say is the most valuable lesson from Little Women? Little Women is very family-oriented, um, and I mean, throughout this process, I learned that whoever your family is, don't be afraid to lean on them or give them support in times of need or in times of trouble, and I think that's something that everybody will see with this show. Thank you so much, Chloe. Thank you. Come see our amazing performing arts department convey friendship, family, and love on our beautiful St. Francis stage. Tickets are on sale for the 15th, 16th, 21st, and 22nd, and 23rd at 7 p.m. with special matinee performances at 2 p.m. on the 16th and 23rd. See you there, Trubies. Back to you, Reese and Copeland. Thank you, Faith and Chloe. A high school self-portrait show is at the Verge Center for the Arts in Sacramento where Truby artwork will be on display till March 28th. The gallery is open to the public and admission is free. So come check it out and support our artists. All juniors who are in SF's National Honor Society and wish to be on the leadership team for next year need to fill out the application form sent in your emails by 3 p.m. on March 22nd. That means if you're going on Junior Kairos, you'll need to have it done before you go. So don't leave it till the last minute. Miss T is back at it again with more fun activities in the library, including several displays, in celebrating Women's History Month. Come on by to learn more about amazing women and all of their hair story. Get it? Her story? I get it, Reese. <laughs> Here to tell us more about celebrating her story at St. Francis and Beyond, student leaders Summer Silvestri and Isabella Herga. Hey, Trubies. My name is Isabella Herga. And I'm Summer Silvestri. And we are the Women's History Month committee leads. This year's national theme for Women's History Month is women who advocate for equity, diversity, and inclusion. And we have numerous events this month to celebrate and recognize not only the remarkable women around the world, but also in our own SF community. I'm sure by now you all have seen the posters hung up in your classrooms highlighting various women who have made differences not only in their field of study, but also outstanding DEI contributions. Make sure to take a glance at these posters on your way out of class and scan the QR code at the bottom to answer a few short questions about the selected woman. Each Google form you fill out will be an entry into our Women's History Month raffle, the winners which will be announced at our Women's History Month assembly. Speaking of which, the Women's History Month assembly is next Wednesday, March 20th. We have some really fun things planned for the assembly, so make sure to be there. We also have a super exciting guest speaker coming your way this, way, or this Thursday during lunch. So check your emails for more information to reserve your spot. 
Lastly, keep an eye out on your emails for information about upcoming festivities for the rest of the month. We want to wish you all a happy Women's History Month. Back to you, Carice and Copeland. Easter break is so close. Just have to finish out this week and the next so I can get to the pool. Yup, and spring break is making me think about summer. And not just summer, but what I'll do during summer. I'm gonna have so much time just to chill out. Hey Copeland, wanna know a secret? There's a way you can make some money this summer and still have fun. For real? I mean, I was kind of planning on just sitting on my couch and watching season three of The Bear on Hulu. Yeah, you could do that. Or you could be a Camp Truby counselor. That's right, Trubies. Four lucky students get picked to lead fifth through eighth graders in a four-week summer program right on campus. And arguably the best part, you get paid. Applications have been sent out in your emails and are due April 7th. I mean, who wouldn't want to make bank this summer? All right, we've gone on long enough. And now, what you've all been waiting for, Homeroom Hits. Take, Take it away, away, SBOs. Hey guys, it's your SBOs Lillian. And May. And we're here to announce the winners of Homeroom Hits. Drum roll, please. The winner is Homeroom 331, and the song was Could You Be Loved by Bob Marley. Please make sure you stay in your homeroom to claim your prize. That's all we've got for you today, Trubies. Thanks for tuning in, 